What's going on guys? Bitcoin obviously is up to 13,350 right now. Looking strong. Now, as you know, if you've been here for at least a month or two, we were sidestepping a lot of the altcoin uh, dip. We were taking profits on a lot of altcoin positions, closing out positions, and even swapping that over to Bitcoin. Yeah, we did swap that or sell that at 15,250, so still early on that. Uh, but these are from profitable altcoin trades when Bitcoin was around probably 10,000. Uh, so still in the macro picture, pretty good. Now we have gone pretty silent on altcoins. But if you notice today, in the past few days, if you look in hashtag fundamentals, hashtag short term trades, and hashtag chart stocks and crypto, I'm starting to give some overhead buys, starting to give some altcoin ideas, some trades, some setups, uh, some passive income opportunities, which we've been doing very well with uh, BNB, SXP, Band, and other passive income, uh, AGA, AGAR, Zen, etc. The reason being is this is all FOMO into Bitcoin. Altcoins are still lagging. They're finally catching some green rather than seeing red with the rise in Bitcoin, which is good. I think at some point you're going to start to see some rotations out of Bitcoin into altcoins from various whales and retail investors. Yes, I think institutions and companies are still focusing primarily on Bitcoin, but we know people in the space want to chase alpha. A new all-time high for Bitcoin is like 10% higher, 12% higher. While these altcoins, you can make 100%, 50%, 200%, 300%. So we're looking for some setups in some of these alts that during the last alt season completely mooned, but have done 50, 60, 75% pullbacks off those highs. Those are ones like VET, VTHO, uh, Uni we made a trade on, XLM and others. So that is why I'm looking to rotate into these assets uh, I don't know if the overhead buy is going to be perfect. We're going to keep mooning. But I think uh, what I'm seeing on the charts and out of the Bitcoin price action, unless there are some big red bars, I think a lot of these altcoins are making rounded bottoms, have found their low already, and we need to start getting positions back in those after the big sell-off. And I think we'll, can, we'll start to outperform Bitcoin uh, here at, in the next cycle. This is similar to what happened when Bitcoin went in 2017. Bitcoin went to 20,000. Alts lagged by about a month, a month and a half. And also, also maintain their high about a month, a month and a half longer than Bitcoin as well. I'm hoping we can catch some of that as well. Yes, we didn't uh, trade Bitcoin perfectly. We had several 10, 15, 20% trades out of Bitcoin. But in a bull move like this, we could have been done better off probably just hodling. I would have to do the math on that. It would probably be pretty close because every time you make a successful trade, your trading bag is increasing. That means your next trade, instead of $1,000, you're not going to have $1,200. So if you get another 11% winner, that's compounding versus your HODL is staying stagnant uh, where it's at. Uh, but yeah, with this run up, we're probably a little lagging versus the HODL on the Bitcoin position. Obviously, you've seen in our historical performance and the spreadsheets that we share uh, that we continue to put green in there for all coins, stocks, options. And of course, Todd has pulled some green trades out of the large caps, not catching this last wave, of course, which, hey, it always sucks not to be on the wave. But how do we make up for that? We look for the next cycle. And the next cycle, I think, is starting to get some positions in some of these altcoins, gathering the passive income while we wait for the next alt season and for that 50, 100, 200% explosion that we all know is coming.